come with us. Untamed Sports TV. You can find Untamed Sports on Over the Air Channel 13.8. The Ballad of Andy and Barney. Andy and Barney were lawmen, bravest you ever did see. Horned ever crook in the record book to stay out of Mayberry. They were the law. Yes, they were the law, and, and they didn't know fear. The Andy Griffith Show. I guess to sum it up, you could say there's three reasons why there's so little crime in Mayberry. There's Andy, and there's me, and baby makes three. <laughs> now on Me TV Fresno. Frigidaire. It means the first refrigerator. It means a history of innovations that help make your home life better. And now we introduce the new Frigidaire French Door Refrigerator with over 100 ways to organize for maximum flexibility. Built with adjustable flip-up and slide-under shelving and stackable crisper drawers. It's the refrigerator that flexes to fit it all, no matter what your day will bring. Frigidaire. Over 90 years of legendary innovation. See the full line of Frigidaire appliances at Ventura TV Electronics and Appliances. Back here on the program on Connect With Me, we got our audio problems uh, figured out here. Now we're going to be able to talk to, to Elvis. So, uh, Elvis, you've got some shows coming up. I want to reiterate this and uh, talk about this again because uh, during the audio uh, portion of the program, during the, the, all the problems, we weren't able to hear you. So we're going to put that back up on the screen and talk about shows coming up. Sure. Yeah, we've got a show coming up on Friday night, January 23rd. That's going to be the biggest show that we've ever done. Uh, we're bringing in the Sweet Inspirations, uh, Backed the King in all of his 70s concerts. We've got Elvis's friend Jimmy Velvet uh, going to be there and singing some of the hits that he had and stories of touring uh, with Jerry Lee Lewis and Johnny Cash and his friendship with Elvis, of course, and just some rare photographs and a special presentation of the King. And then we're, we're going to put on what I hope is the best concert that I've ever put on in my in my 31 year career. All right, this is at the Paul Chagoyan Concert Hall, January the 23rd, 8 o'clock. And tickets, you can get them. They're only $15 to $60. That's, hey, listen, you go to any show in the Bay Area, Monterey, Los Angeles, those tickets are cheap, $15 to $60. It's one of the biggest uh, concerts. Of course, anything else coming up for the holidays for you? Yeah, we're still in the middle of our Blue Christmas tour. And, uh, <laughs> Talk the, about, what is that? Talk about yeah, that. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, every December, we're out on the road uh, traveling around doing Elvis's Christmas songs, and we mix in some of the regular hits also. And we've done a lot of the dates already, but we've got some more coming up. Uh, December 14th, we'll be in Porterville at the Barn Theater. And mm -hmm. uh, December 18th, we'll be out at Belmont Country Club here in Fresno. Yeah. And uh, Sunday, December 21st, we'll be at uh, in Stockton at Valley Brew. It's kind of like the the Highway 99 tour. <laughs> just every every city along the way. We've done a lot of them already, but we still have three. And you go to jeremyelvispierce.com for the whole entire schedule. Uh, J-E-R-E-M-Y-E-L-V-I-S-P-E-A-R-C-E.com. And you can also find me on Facebook and so forth. You're all over the map. <laughs> I, I'm, all, I'm all over the place. I'm the only full-time Elvis tribute artist in, in the Valley. That's great. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I just want to tell our viewers right now, we had some audio problems uh, beginning of the show, and I did mention uh, that this past Monday was the 34th anniversary exactly to the day that John Lennon had been assassinated in New York City, uh, the Dakotas in front of his, uh, you know, his apartment complex, and uh, he was getting out of his car after dinner and walking back to his place when he turned and a man shot him. Dead upon arrival at the hospital was announced by Howard Cosell on Monday Night Football. I remember it vividly as if it happened five minutes ago. And of course, uh, Elvis, the great king of rock and roll, uh, passed away in August of 1977. And even after all these years, you know, would you agree with me, Elvis, that the king of rock and roll may be more popular now than during the time that he was alive? He gets more and more popular all the time. He Why really is that? Uh, you know, it's because he had something for everybody, I think, in his music. Uh, if people say, well, I, and I've never really heard this, but I don't care for Elvis's music, well, that's because you haven't heard enough of it then, because he did rock and roll, gospel, country, 
rhythm and blues, pop. So there's something in the Elvis catalog for everybody. But beyond just the music, it was the man. Elvis was just a great guy. You think he was, I know you had not met him, but, uh, and either, I never met him either, but uh, from what you've read, from what you heard, was Elvis a down-to-earth man? And was he a simple man? In, in a lot of ways he was. You know, he would be wearing clothes like this and so forth, but uh, he just, he loved to do the things that he enjoyed even before he had any money. And all the things that he ate, you know, was just the same southern yeah. favorites he grew up on, even though he could afford to eat anything he wanted or do anything he wanted. It's just, uh, he was he was a down-to-earth guy. He didn't have any investments. He let the IRS do his taxes. Uh, you know, he just, he didn't care about money. He just, you know, he just cared about putting on good shows and uh, sharing his wealth with his fans and even perfect strangers. Yeah, why do you think the king lives on? He lives on because the songs stand the test of time and and Elvis is, is timeless. You know, he, he really is. And uh, he's got fans all over the world of every age. And it's amazing. It, it is absolutely amazing. And like a third of all the people who go to Graceland are under 35. And uh, so it's, it's really fantastic that his legend all this time, a lot of pop stars today, they'll be uh, gone in six months or two a year. Yeah. Here Elvis is, you know, ever since the 50s, and he sells more records today than most current artists. You know, I mentioned to you uh, before the show started, we got a phone call coming in. I saw you perform back in 2001, shortly after my son was born, and I got to tell you, this guy is terrific, and he's gotten better and better and better with age. 2001, that was 13 years ago, wasn't it? 13 years ago I saw you performing. Time You're... flies, oh, man, I'll tell you. Oh, my goodness, you've been doing this a long time. A long Caller, time. are you on the air? Go ahead. Uh, yeah, you know what, when I'm looking at him, he, he looks exactly like Elvis. But you know what? The women just fall, fell over him like it was butter. They would do anything for him. And I think we as men, we're real jealous about that, if, even if we took our wives to see him in and, and, yeah. and those days, you know. But I tell you, when he came to performance, it was great. He made you relax, you have fun. And when he did his shake and rat, rattle and roll, whatever, and played, he just got people going. And I think the thing that I miss uh, uh, watching it, you know, him on TV and whatever was that he was a, a real talent that, that I wish he was still alive, you know, because, oh, man. You can get uh, you, you can talk to the women that that saw him fifty that are fifteen fifty years old now, yeah. and they would talk and they drool and they would say, but when he would come to Vegas or whatever, you know, he mm -hmm. gave a performance that no one could ever match. You know, uh, you know I like George Strait myself from country, but Elvis. I mean, if I see him right now, I, I could get he he's no longer here. You know, yeah. Uh, you know, it's the same thing with the Beatles. The Beatles were big in their time. Yeah. But Elvis, he was number one. I don't care if the Beatles were here. All right. Elvis hey. will never be gone, and, and especially the people who are, you know, in the, in the 50s and 60s, you know, uh, because they still feel that he's still around, you know. That's so, right. But, I mean, hey, I'm glad there's someone like you, you know, that keeps going and, and people getting excited for that, you know. Okay. So, hey, you know, thanks, thanks. thanks for the great call. I appreciate it. We're going to be back with more of Jeremy Pierce. He's actually Elvis. That's right. He's not an impersonator. He's the real deal, my friends. And I got to tell you something. When Elvis died back in 1977, and he went went upstairs, entered the pearly gates, and God said, "Ah, wait a minute. Play a tune for me before you come come in." <laughs> I'm sure that's what God said to Elvis. And he said the same thing to Mickey Mantle. He said, "Hey, before I get started here, uh, I need a dozen baseball signs." We're back with our uh, program here on Connect with Me 436 Me TV. Option 11, back in just a moment. <laughs> Ladies Night was started in his honor. Barstools pulled themselves out for him. The only thing Chuck Norris is afraid of is her. Cheers is the most memorable bar in the world. You may not always watch comedy, but when you do, watch Cheers. Me TV Fresno, channel 43.6 and Xfinity 187. Where the alligators grow so me. There lives a little girl, I swear to world. 
I just, you know what? I just can't get enough of that. Caller, are you there? Hello? Caller? Yeah, go ahead. You're on the air with Jeremy Pierce yeah, Elvis. Yeah, no, I just heard you say that he's not, he's the real deal. He's not an impersonator. Well, yeah. To me, Elvis is the only one, and he is an impersonator, and I don't like him. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. No, well, no I, I, didn't, I didn't say that, ma'am. Uh, John said uh, this is the real deal, but I'm always just a tribute artist, just like all of the other ones are. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, how many how many negative comments do you get like that? Probably not many, because most people like. Oh me. no, people just want to make sure that uh, uh, you're always remembering that Elvis is the king, and that you're not really Elvis. I you mean, know, you're keeping the memory alive. You're having fun, and you're entertaining people of my generation who remember Elvis. Yeah. Because I wish he was still here. Yeah. You know, and the reason I said. God wanted him to play a tune before he entered the pearly gates is because God probably can't sing like Elvis. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, you know. You know? Uh, that, that's the thing about Elvis right now is that, you know, you think about him up there and all the great singers right. that have gone before him. Think of that heavenly choir, you know, yeah. at this point. Yeah, and the thing is, when I said he's the real deal, we got another phone call coming up here. When I said he's the real deal, look, there's only one Elvis. There's only one Mickey Mantle. There's only one Willie Mays, right? Yeah. There's only one Johnny Cash. Uh, I mean, uh, caller, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hi, uh, I'm a big Elvis fan. I want to say hello. Thank you. Hi. Okay, go hello? ahead. Do you have a Do you have a question for Jeremy? Yeah, I do. Um, on your next concert, can you uh, can I request a song if I could dream? Absolutely, we do. If I can dream often, it's uh, one of Elvis's all-time greatest songs, and we'd be happy to sing it for you. All right, thank you very much. God Absolutely, bless. thank you. All right, I appreciate it very much. So, so Elvis Presley um, was this guy who could act, he could sing, he could do just about anything. He went into the military. He was and, in the military. And he didn't have to do it like everybody else did. You know, uh, they offered just to let him entertain the troops. And uh, he said, no, no, I don't want to spend my service just doing that. I want to do what everybody else has to do because that's how folks will respect me. That's how I respect myself. And uh, so he went and did his service in Germany. And that won over a lot of the uh, fans' parents because he had the kids already. But the parents were like, I don't know about this guy. But then once he uh, went and did his duty for his country, the parents thought, hmm, this guy's not too bad. Yeah, he's the real deal, yeah, and exactly. Elvis is the real deal. Yeah. And there are so many impersonators around the country, around California. Let me ask you something. Why um, the fascination with Elvis for you? What's the fascination, what's the interest with Elvis? Because he was a super guy. You know, he was just a fantastic guy. Uh, because the music is is what draws you to Elvis initially but what keeps me doing this and how I can represent somebody else is because Elvis was such a super human being generous kind and uh, I think that's the thing about Elvis is it's just as much about him as it is the music really okay caller are you there yes I am and Go now ahead. I have sound and I want to say hi Jeremy hi. Um, <laughs> uh, 
Jeremy has a fan club, which is very inexpensive for a whole year. <laughs> and wow. I just got a Christmas card from him. And I don't appreciate the people who call in with negative comments. If you have a negative comment, keep it to yourself. Because Jeremy <laughs> is keeping the memory of Elvis alive for all of us. Yeah. There, there's no replacement for Elvis. Of course yeah. Elvis was a very special person. He, he, his soul went out to people when he performed. Yeah. So I don't want to take more time because I want to listen to you guys and hear other callers. But this is Carol. Well, thank you very thank much. You. You're very sweet. And thank, thank you, you for honey. calling in to let us know we didn't have audio there because uh, we finally got it fixed and we're glad that you like uh, Jeremy. And that, that's, that, you know, that's my point. I do want to go to break because I want to hear you sing again. But the whole point of this is, and all these impersonators across the country, that's what I call them, look, it's to have fun. Yeah. It's to keep the memory alive of Elvis. And I loved Elvis so much, and I think I love him more today than I did when he was alive, because when he was alive, we, you know how it is when you have something, you kind of take it for granted? Yeah. Now he's gone. We don't have him. He's yeah. not there but anymore. But your first caller, John, jo goes to show you El Elvis's fans are very protective of him. And yeah. so, you know, when you say that, you know, I'm the real thing, they're like, wait, wait, there's only one Elvis. And so that that was the whole thing. And, and I don't think that caller meant any harm. They just wanted to yeah. make sure that I realized at the end of the day that, uh, there's the real Elvis and then those, those of us who are paying tribute to him. And I want that caller to understand that I never forget that, uh, yeah. that Elvis is the king and uh, we're just here paying tribute to him. And uh, John's having a little fun with me calling me the real thing because that, that's good for TV. <laughs> hey, it's good for TV. It's good for ratings, yeah, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And I want to have fun on this program. Oh, yeah. And oh, it's, yeah. Good to, it's good to, to play make-believe. Oh, yeah. It really is. Sure, I mean, sure. I do it all the time with my kids. Um, and you know we got to have fun on this show. Sometimes on this show we get so serious about so many topics that we talk about yeah. water and murder and this and that and the other thing. There's so many bad things going on in the world. It's time to lighten it up once in a while. We're going to be back uh, with your phone calls. Jeremy's going to do another tune here in tribute to the king of rock and roll. Back in just a moment. Attention all units. We have reports of two motorcycle cops protecting California's highway. That's for us, good buddy. The Men of Chips are on BTV. I am John Baker. I am John Baker. He's Officer Baker. He's the blonde one. Hi there. Officer Poncherello, man. Frank Poncherello. Oh, I'm Frank Poncherello. And he's the one who's Eric Estrada. There's no way I wouldn't remember a name like that. Catch the blonde one and the one who's Eric Estrada. On now Chips. on MeTV Fresno. Xfinity 187. TV on over the air channel 13.9. It's Sully and Russ on the Big Biz Show. It's your biz. And maybe they'll start listening to Baldwin McCullough. Now before you make any money moves, check in with the Brain Trust. And you are starting your week off right. Well, there's a one for the money, two for the show. Straight to get red and that gold cash don't but don't do. Stand on my blue suede shoes. Well, you can do whatever you want over my blue suede shoes. Well, you can knock me down, step on my face, slander my name all over the place, baby. Do anything that you want to do. But I, uh, honey, lay off my shoes and don't you. Step on my blue suede shoes. Well, you can do whatever 
We get our speed from mom and dad. They do stuff super fast. And now they got this new kitchen, so they're even faster. So they can help us with our free throws. The time-saving Frigidaire Gallery line with a quick preheat and smudge-proof stainless steel that resists fingerprints and cleans easily. It's mealtime in no time from start to clean. Frigidaire Gallery. Save more during Frigidaire Gallery bonus days when you buy three or more qualifying appliances. See the full line of Frigidaire appliances at Ventura TV Electronics and Appliances. Must watch news channel in Europe. Welcome to a new beginning. An adventure that goes well beyond passive diversions. Empowering through exploration. Engaging your passions. Inspiring with lives lived outdoors. Come with us. Untamed Sports TV. You can find Untamed Sports on Over the Air Channel 13.8. All right, back here on the program on Connect With Me on MeTV Fresno, of course, and we're here with Jeremy Pierce. Of course, uh, he uh, is Elvis, at least uh, for today he is, and he is uh, throughout much of the year performing throughout the Central Valley. And I want to mention on Friday, January the 23rd, at the Paul Chagoyan Concert Hall, 8 o'clock, a huge concert. Tickets are $15 to $60. You might recall at the beginning of this program, we had some audio problems and we missed Jeremy playing Don't Be Cruel. Well, here once again is the king of rock and roll, at least for the day here in the Central Valley with Don't Be Cruel. Take it away. And the least please telephone and don't be cruel. Oh, well, baby, if I made you mad, for something that I might have said, please just forget my past. You just look right ahead. I don't be cruel. Oh, I do it's true. I don't want no other love. Baby, it's just you and me, you know. Mm -hmm. Mommy, don't stop the thinking of me. I don't make me feel this way. Come on over here and love me. You know what I want you to say. I don't be free. It's too hard, it's true. Oh, why should we be apart? I really love you, baby. Cross my heart. Well, let's walk up to the preacher and let us say I do. Well, then you know you have me, and I know that I have you. I don't be cruel to a heart that's true. I don't want no other love. Maybe it's just you I'm thinking of. 
I don't be cruel to what it's true. Don't be cruel to what it's true. I don't want no other love. Baby, it's just you and baby love. Now we'll find out once and for all about Clark Kent, Superman. Look up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's a TV show. Yes, but who is he? What's his name? He's Superman. Golly, Clark, won't that be wonderful seeing Superman? Fighting a never-ending battle for truth, justice, and television the me TV way. No one can do the things that Superman does. The Adventures of Superman. Now on me TV Fresno, Xfinity 187. Tough TV is the first digital broadcast network to offer first-run original programming targeted at men. Tough TV features content that men are passionate about. Sports. No matter what happens in the fight, oh, good right, left. He's coming on strong. Lifestyle. What we've done is we created a technology that allows us to run video games in extremely powerful servers in server centers. Drama. Did you cause this? <laughs> Reality. Welcome to this edition of Eye for an Eye. Now, today in court, we have the case of the reckless brother who tried to unravel his own family ties. Talk. Damn, we have a winner! Specials. I'm Dick Butkus. Welcome to the Butkus Awards TV special. And movies. Everybody, are you leave? Put your hands on the table. Sports, lifestyle, drama, reality, talk, specials, and movies. Are you tough enough? From a top secret location, it's the spies who love me, bringing together MeTV's top super spies to fight evil at a memorable moment's notice. They're daring. That's right. Free. Now what are we gonna do? The best we can. Swab. Does that apply to me, Oscar? Possibly. And smart? The old finger in the gun trick. Maxwell Smart. MeTV Fresno, channel 43.6 and Xfinity 187. Jeremy Pierce is here. He is Elvis Presley, and he impersonates, and we're trying to keep the Elvis memory alive here. You can call in at 436-ME-TV, option 11. I want to ask you about your Elvis collections, because you have yeah. a car that you were able to acquire and obtain uh, at some point or purchase uh, that actually belonged to Elvis. Talk, talk about that. It was. It was the last Cadillac that he ever bought in his lifetime. He bought it in April of 77 and he passed away in August of that year and uh, he they estimate that he bought 200 Cadillacs during his life but this was the last one and we have that here in Fresno and we uh, let fans take their picture in it and so forth because we have a whole traveling Elvis museum full of artifacts. You do? Jewelry, clothing, Elvis's last Cadillac, stage used items and it's all uh, we take it in a 30-foot toy hauler that has been customized inside to look like you've walked into Graceland and the outside is a 3D recreation of Graceland. Also. How do you know that these artifacts are authentic? Because uh, Elvis came to me and told me they were. <laughs> no, uh, you know, you, you have to do your due diligence and get it from good sources, okay. you know, and uh, uh, make sure that it's trustworthy and also, a lot of times there's photographs of Elvis using it, or in some cases, like a car, you've got a VIN number. So you can, you know, something like that, you can trace all the way back to the original registration and purchase date and so forth. And, and uh, guns also have serial numbers if you're buying an Elvis-owned gun. But then other things, you've got to rely on photographs and expert testimony from his friends and so forth. Yeah, so that's how you do it. That's how you authenticate it. All right, another phone call coming in. Good morning. You're on Connect With Me. Your question, please. I'm sorry, what? Question, uh, please, caller. Go ahead. You're on the air. Caller, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Go ahead. You're on the air. Oh, uh, I am. Uh, I'm a friend of uh, Jeremy's, and I wanted to say he's a great impersonator. I love all of his shows, and um, I'm a huge collector, like Elvis too. And I wanted to say thanks. He's good. Been put on great shows all the time. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And this is that. Anthony. Thank you. Hey, thank, hey you. thank you, Anthony. It's nice yeah. to hear from you. 
Yeah. He's a good guy. He's yeah. a friend of mine and comes to the shows a lot, and he loves to collect also. And I've been able to help him get a few pieces and so forth. And so that's the thing about uh, our show here in the Valley. Even though we travel out, we've been based here for over 30 years, and we have so many friends. Some of these folks have been coming to my shows for decades. Yeah. And it's uh, it's amazing. It's like... How many years you've been doing this now? 31 years. You've yeah. been doing this... 31 years. 31 years. I started my third grade talent show when I was eight years old. And uh, my mom spray painted my hair black and I fell in <laughs> love with it. You know, I always loved Elvis and <laughs> I love performing. And so it just uh, grew from there. But yeah, we last year we had gone over 4,000 shows total. You know that uh, there, is, there is this passion for Elvis and the Beatles. Mm -hmm. um, and it's roughly the same time period that they came along. Yeah. Okay. Not not that far apart. A little. There's a little bit of a difference there. Of course, Elvis uh, started in the 50s. The Beatles came here in the 60s uh, to this country. Of course, from England. So, is there a big difference? I know the difference between the music. One was a band. One was a, obviously a single performer. Yeah. But do you see a difference in the fan base? Yeah, there's there's some difference just in that, uh, like I say, the Beatles came about 10 years later. Mm -hmm. and uh, But the Beatles were as big of Elvis fans as almost anybody else. When they first came here, they wanted to meet Elvis, and Elvis invited them over to his Hollywood home. And, and did Elvis like the Beatles? Yeah, in fact, he, uh, in their stage, uh, in, in his stage act, he... In, Incorporated yesterday at times and something <laughs> and yeah. get back and so Elvis really thought that they had a lot of talent and uh, and I know that they loved Elvis as well. Yeah. All right, caller, are you there? Yes, I am. It's me again. It's Carol. I'm just so excited. Jeremy's on for a whole hour and I had one more comment. You folks have been mentioning how much fun this is. This is fun. This is fun. But behind the fun, there's a lot of hard work and preparation and you know to get this get this off and get this m as authentic as you can and then i had a question this is supposed to be repeated on two channels later in the day and, yes. and i've got the channels but i don't know what time okay i will tell you what time we'll put that slide up right now so you can see uh later in the day you can see that carol right up there this uh, show replays at two o'clock in the afternoon on 13 6 eight o'clock tonight on 13.5 u2 and biz tv and so yes jeremy a lot of hard work and preparation behind the scenes to try to make this look as authentic as you possibly can right yeah to, to look and and to sound you know we try to do it Right, and for our bigger shows, like the one on the 23rd, we have a live band that works with us, and they are absolutely phenomenal musicians, and they get it so close to the music that you would hear in the live Elvis shows. And we want to, you know, Elvis isn't here anymore, uh, unfortunately, and so the only way to see a live act is with the recreations, mm -hmm. and that's why on January 23rd, I think we're going to get the closest we've ever come to creating the feeling of what it was like when Elvis was here by having original performers that perform with him and uh, just the whole entire vibe of the night. We want you to feel like, you know, it's Elvis in concert. Yeah. You know, there was a diner in Sanger that, I don't know if it's still there, but they were guests here. They're, they're not there. Any, but yeah. it was all about Elvis. Yeah. It was the Elvis diner. Yeah. Um, fr friend, friends of mine. Yeah. 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 Great folks. They were here as a guest on my program. Uh, when was it? Last year or the year before? I can't remember. But, yeah, Vance. Uh, hey, let me his ask hair you is that. better than mine. That's the only thing I don't like about it. Yeah, him. <laughs> I know. Hey, we got another phone call here. All right, Jeremy. Uh, c uh, c you're on Connect with me. Go ahead, caller. Uh, yes, I was very surprised that uh, back in the uh, late 50s when Elvis started, there were impersonators of his uh, style back then. Uh, also, I'm surprised I read someplace where folklore said that the Elvis entered a contest and of Elvis lookalikes and singers and he ended up in third place. <laughs> but the question I have for you is that is there a royalty payment paid every time you perform in the, to the uh, Graceland and whoever owns their, their songs currently? That's a good Thank question. I never even thought of that. Thank you, caller. I appreciate that question. That is a good question, and uh, but no, we don't. We're not required to pay royalties. And uh, good thing. 
<laughs> yeah, you know, uh, but Graceland, you know, they, they do their own tribute co contests and events and so forth because they know that the Elvis tribute artists are a big part of helping to keep the legend alive. And, uh, you know, it's, it's particularly younger fans, it's, it's a lot easier to bring them in with a, with a live yeah. You've been event. to Graceland? Oh, many times. Oh, yes. you have? Yes. i got to make it down there. I don't know. We'll see. Caller, go ahead. You're on the air. Hello. Hey, you're on the air. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I want to ask him, uh, who's at this show he's talking about live, uh, who's going to play J.D. Sumner uh, or sing his part in that act? We don't have a dedicated J.D. Sumner, but uh, our uh, backing band also does all the backing vocals, and uh, nobody can hit those low notes like J.D. could. He was in the Guinness Book of World Records uh, for hitting the lowest bass notes, yeah. but uh, they'll get as close as they possibly can. Let me ask you an embarrassing question. We only got a minute left. We got to go to break, but uh, I know you're married. The women used to go crazy over Elvis. They, f oh my gosh, they fell over. They fainted mm -hmm. oftentimes uh, when he was performing on stage. Have you ever had anybody faint, and do the women just fall all over you? Uh, well, I don't want to say they fall all over me. I don't want to upset that first <laughs> caller again. No, but uh, no, but uh, no. Th you know, we they, they go crazy at yeah. times. You know, but they're it's it's they're playing their part. Right. They're playing their role. My role is to play the Elvis. Their role is to play the the fan. And so we all have fun, just kind of recreating everything and having a good time with it. And that's that's what the whole thing's about. You know. Yeah. That's right. All right, you're going to do another song for us here before you go. It's almost time to go here. We only got about a 10 minutes left. You're watching Connect With Me on Me TV Fresno. Elvis can be back here to perform one more time. Back in a moment. We get our speed from Mom and Dad. They do stuff super fast. And now they got this new kitchen, so they're even faster. So they can help us with our free throws. The time-saving Frigidaire Gallery line with a quick preheat and smudge-proof stainless steel that resists fingerprints and cleans easily. It's mealtime in no time from start to clean. Frigidaire Gallery. Save more during Frigidaire Gallery bonus days when you buy three or more qualifying appliances. See the full line of Frigidaire appliances at Ventura TV Electronics and Appliances. Must watch news channel in Europe. The ballad of Andy and Barney. Andy and Barney were lawmen, bravest you ever did see. Warned ever crook in the record book to stay out of Mayberry. They were the law. Yes, they were the law, and they didn't know fear. The Andy Griffith Show. I guess to sum it up, you could say there's three reasons why there's so little crime in Mayberry. There's Andy, and there's me. And baby makes three. <laughs> now on Me TV Fresno. Welcome to a new beginning. An adventure that goes well beyond passive diversions. Empowering through exploration. Engaging your passions. Inspiring with lives lived outdoors. Come with us. Untamed Sports TV. You can find Untamed Sports on over the air channel 13.8. You know, I want to clarify something. I said Jeremy Pierce is the real deal as far as Elvis impersonators is concerned. He works hard behind the scenes. It is a very, very, very difficult to, job to try to recreate somebody's personality, their whole persona, their existence, 
once they have passed and gone uh, beyond, of course. And Jeremy does a great job. So as far as impersonators is concerned, he is the real deal. I've seen him perform in person. He is absolutely terrific. He's dedicated to the profession of impersonating Elvis Presley. So one more performance by the real deal, the impersonator, Jeremy Pierce, Blue Christmas, and the king of rock and roll. impersonating Elvis uh, Presley. I want to put the graphic up on the screen just one more time if we got time here. Friday, January the 23rd, 2015, 8 o'clock at the Paul Chagorian uh, Concert Hall. A huge Elvis uh, show taking place there starring Jeremy Elvis Pierce. Uh, tickets range anywhere from $15 to $60. Very reasonable in price. We thank Jeremy Pierce for coming in today, his second appearance here on Connect With Me. We got to get him in here more often. He is the real deal as far as impersonators is concerned, because as I said before just a moment ago, it's a difficult job behind the scenes, a hard working man, the hardest working man in show business as far as impersonations are concerned. That's going to do it for us today. We're going to say goodbye for now and have a good day. Have a good night. We'll be back tomorrow on MeTV Fresno. Yeah.